Welcome to the lecture, my dear students. Uh, we are entering into the applications of differential equations. In the last lecture, I have done the Newton's law of cooling. Now, today's lecture, I am going to do what is the law of growth and decay by using the differential equations. So, the law of growth and decay, what it describes is how the quantities, the amount of uh, the substances, whatever it may be, the population, uh, whatever, it is a change over the time so after certain time whether the population is going to increase or the population is decreasing whatever the increase or decrease of the population suppose if i take the population increase or the amount of bacteria produced in a particular product whatever it grows exponentially right so when it is growing exponentially it is very hard to find out after so and so period how much is the amount of substance is being produced so by but when you use the differential equation it is very easy to assess or to predict how much uh, amount of uh, population or how much amount of the substance is there is a change after so and so time so either it is increasing or decreasing exponentially so the rate of change of the substance is always proportional to the amount of substance so the rate of change increases means if the substance is increasing suppose the rate of change of the substance is also increasing if the rate of change is decreasing suppose definitely the substance the amount of substance is also decreasing that if, that is what happens right so if the population increasing means when we compare to the year 2000 to 2024 what is the population how much population of the uh, country oman has been increased in a span of 10 years so the rate of change is increasing and the amount of the population is also increasing if the amount of population is decreasing means the rate of change is also decreasing that is what the concept here to understand so here how to write down the governing equation for this so the let us say y be the substance okay the amount of substance let us consider that the amount of substance this substance may be uh, whatever according to the product whatever let us say if maybe example it may be the population or the substance may be a population or it may be the amount of bacteria produced or some uh, like a species some species of uh, fish or something all these are the substances okay so this is what the amount of the substance why let us we call it as and uh, again whenever we say how to change how to make the rate of change means always it depends upon the time as i told you now in the year 2000 this much was the population and in the year 2024 this is the population means how I, we are comparing always we are comparing with the respect to the time so this is what the let us say t is the time now let us rewrite this sentence reread this sentence the rate of change of the substance so when i say the rate of change of the substance rate of change with respect to time d by dt of the substance we called y as the substance so dy by dt is proportional to the amount of substance that is y so that means dy by dt is equal to some constant k times of y so let us take and this is what the governing equation for the growth or decay so the governing equation this is the governing differential equation of the law of growth or decay so you have to memorize this particular equation now again by using the variable separable method you can now solve this equation by taking y to the other sign and k times of dt let us now integrate this what is this dy integral dy by dy is ln y is k times of integral dt is t plus c so when i write ln y is this what will be y it is e power kt plus c or we can even rewrite this as e power kt times of e power c so this is what the very important equation to solve the problems so you have to memorize this to solve the problems of loss of growth and 
decay the law of growth and decay when it is given this is what the governing equation is this dy by dt is equal to ky is the governing differential equation and to solve the problems we use how to find out the solution of the differential equation by taking this as y is equal to e power kt times of e power c so this is what you have to memorize let us now go to the problem so the problem is there are 20 rabbits on an island after six months the number of rabbits had increased to 100 if the number of rabbits increases exponentially then how many rabbits will be there at the end of the at the end of one year so when we are given the applications it will not be given in the problem that whether it is using Newton's law of cooling or whether it is uh, law of growth and decay, nothing. So you have to understand by saying that the there is an exponential growth means it is understood that it is a law of growth and decay and we have to write down the equation as the equation for solving this is y is equal to e power kt times of e power c. What is y here? Let y is where y is the number of rabbits in the island okay and time t is the initial time whatever so this is what t is the time so let us now rewrite the equation in the beginning what is the number which is 20 rabbits so y is equal to 20 at what time initially we take it as a zero correct in the beginning there is zero so therefore when we write this as the equation one how can we get the equation one implies y is 20 is equal to e power k times of t means zero times of e power c so that gives you 20 is equal to e power c e power zero is one so 20 is equal to e power c this is what the value of e power c right and then what is the next thing after six months the number of rabbits had increased to 100 so and he has asked you to find out how many number of rabbits will be there at the end of one year so since it is asked in years you always you always the time should be in only one unit in the whole problem if the time is given in minutes it is asked so totally you have to make the equation in problem in minutes if it is given in seconds again seconds if it is given in the year put the everything the time in the year so how many months uh, six months is equal to half of the year right so you are, can write t is equal to half so what is given now given that given that the amount of rabbits have been increased to 100 after six months so y have become 100 when when t is equal to half year so in the beginning there is there are there were 20 rabbits in the beginning of the time that means in the initially and 20 has become 100 when it is six after six months that means after half a year okay so now let us find out what is the equation one now according to the equation one it is e power y is equal to what 100 is equal to e power k times of 1 by 2 t is equal to 1 by 2 times of e power c e power c we got the value as 20 i hope you could understand this 20 is equal to e power c we are replacing here understood and now let us see what is this that is 100 is equal to 100 by 20 is equal to 20 means it is 5 is equal to e power k the whole power half can we write like this e power k by 2 can be written like this so from this can we get the value of e power k e power k is what 5 square that means it is 25 i hope you could understand what is e power k now so we got the value of e power c and e power k so we can rewrite the given equation in the form of e power k and e power c to get the original equation so what is one implies now the standard equation is this now y is equal to e power kt times of e power c that means what e power k is 25 power t times of 20 so this is the crucial equation which you have to understand that with the help of this equation only we are going to find out the number of rabbits after so and so time 
or suppose if the number of rabbits has been given in how much uh, how uh, after how many months uh, that means after so months or time now uh, what is the growth of the rabbits or if the time is given after 2 years what is the growth how many number of rabbits have been produced means you can find out so in both the ways you can use this equation and solve it so let us now call this equation as 2 so now the question asked in the problem is how many rabbits will be there at the end of one year so now when at the end of one year what is the number of rabbits so y is equal to what at and t is equal to 1 so that means y is equal to 25 to the power of 1 into 20 so 25 to sir 50 it is 500 so therefore you can understand there are 500 rabbits 500 rabbits are produced or produced after one year after one year this is what the question suppose in the question it was not asked but i'll just increase the uh, uh, one more uh, this one after uh, after how much how many years or after how many years uh the number of the rabbits number the rabbits number the number of rabbits becomes 1000 is the question asked suppose then what is given now now y is equal to 1000 at t is equal to how much how many years takes place to get the amount of rabbits as 1000 so 1000 is equal to what 25 power time we don't know time is t times of 20 so that gives you what 1000 by 20 is equal to 25 power t so now what it gives you let us see the value of 1000 by 20 means it is 50 50 is equal to 25 power t so take logarithm on both sides so log 50 is equal to t times of log 25 so log of 50 divided by log of 25 log of 25 how much it is 1.55 so log 50 by log 25 gives you 1.5 years that is equal to t so therefore after one and half year it becomes 1000 1000 rabbits will be produced after one and half year so this is what the way of uh, and a way of doing the problem when the rate of change you know after so and so years how many rabbits are been produced or these many rabbits are produced after how many years like this also in the reverse way you can do the problem easily so for all these what is important the very important and crucial concept here is you should memorize this equation y is equal to e power kt into c e power c this equation is important once you get this equation then substituting or uh, what are these finding out these values and if your calculation is perfect then you will get this one which is a very important equation by which all the data whatever you are going to get what is your prediction everything will be correct only with this equation so if you have done any wrong in this equation total problem will be wrong so little careful you should be alert you should be to get the equation i hope you could understand this thank you so much dear students